and welcome to the start of something new for the HJW Gaming channel. This is going to be my playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, it's going to be something a bit different to the usual Lord of the Rings videos for those who are familiar with my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, I, I do enjoy the Pokemon games so I just thought I'd give this a run through. I thought you guys might enjoy uh, coming along for the ride. So yeah, I really hope you do. I haven't looked too much into these games. I'm not fully aware of what the storyline etc is. But uh, at the beginning it looks like it seems to be going down the same path as other Pokemon games, just designing designing our character. Uh, whether it wants to be male or female. Just gonna look for a, a character kind of similar to myself if possible. Just wanna go with Yeah, so we'll have that brush back into the side. And I do have dark brown hair, so I'll stick with that. Don't want to spend too long on the character customization, I wanna jump into the game if possible. Uh, looks like we got a lot more customization as far as the character's face looks like. Um, let's go with that one there. Eye colour. So I do have brown eyes. I think we go with those. Though. Green's quite vivid. Like pink. <laughs> so it looks like colour-wise, it's not just the real colours. I, I do know it does say colour contacts rather than colour. So, oh wow. We've got the grey and gold. Like green and blue, total black. Ooh, no, all well, this kind of psychedelic look. I think I'll be sticking with just the brown eyes, similar to my own. Uh, eyelashes. Okay, so it looks like one is like the minimalist kind of look, and then it gets larger and darker the further you go through. Uh, I think I'll be sticking with just the ones, I don't want to go. In fact, I quite like that D1, so I think I'll stick with that. Uh, my eyelashes are black, so I'll go with black. Uh, eyebrows, I do have quite thick eyebrows, so not those ones. Not the sad eyes. Uh, I quite like that look there, so I think I'll stick with that as well. Go with black again. Mouth style. And they all seem pretty much the same. I have a slightly larger mouth. Uh, I don't need to make any colour there. Orange, <laughs> cream, and purple. Very jazzy. Uh, but no, I think I'll just go with no colour, keep the standard look. Don't have a beauty spot, no freckles. And there we go, that's the look of our first character. I'm sure some of you will be a bit disappointed. I've kept it quite um, vanilla, just look like a normal character, but it's the way I like to roll. So hopefully, we can also design the rest of our look at some point, like our outfits, etc away from this shirt and tie we've got at the minute. So, enrolment application for the Naranja Academy. Enrolment complete. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can change this in the options menu. Ah, so this is the Naranja Academy. Okay, awesome. So this looks like a, a university type job. As I said, I haven't looked much into this game, so I don't know what to expect at the beginning, so you're coming along for the ride with me. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. So again, I have, as I said, I haven't looked into it, so I don't know what Pokemon to expect. I did spot uh, like a Harry Armour there. So that must be one of the ones available. So who's this here? This is Director Clavel, the head of the Naranja Academy. Paldea. Paldea must be the region then that we're exploring. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. So this must be him talking then, Professor Clavel. Or Director Clavel, whatever his name was. Also, this must be a new Pokemon. I don't think I've seen this before. It looks um, looks almost like a Pikachu with the, the fuzzy cheeks. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our own cities and towns. More information again available here. I can see we've got Pikachu in front of us and we've got um, 
Gavite off to the left as well, and a Hoppip in the centre, and some small blue in the sky. Ooh, Jiggly, there's an Ampharos off to the right as well. Ampharos being one of my favourite Pokémon, so it will definitely be on my, on, my watch, on my watch list if I can find it earlier on. We humans coexist with Pokémon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. So it looks like we will be going to school then by the sound of it. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. So that's interesting there, that looks like a muck. But the, the Tauros opposite is uh, like all black, so I wonder if that's a version or region exclusive version of the Tauros. While a robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is in these halls that you'll find your friends, your Pokemon. We, the faculty and staff at Naranjo Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Here we go, so we're we'll jumping into the game. After this cutscene. So this here, I think, is the Pokemon of the box artwork, if I'm not mistaken, so I think that's the legendary Pokemon of this game. This region, assuming all of these areas are explored, this region is enormous. Some black tourists again. Lots of open area. Maybe in some flora. Some kind of flamingo type Pokemon. Is it blue, I believe? Unless. Yeah, it looks like it's a top name. Oh, there we go, that there is the Naranjo Cabin. In a large city. down to the sea near the lighthouse. Interesting. So let's hear two, two other new Pokemon. Setting on the roof of what I presume is our house. That is our house. It's a lovely coastside house. That'd be nice. Don't mind if I do. Uh, an auto save. Does that mean we're. Oh, it does. It looks like we're dropping in. Finally, can get our game started after quite a lot of customization and. Uh, yeah, a lot of cutscene. Use your L stick to get up. Okay. And there he is. There's, there's the HJW gaming character. I do hope we can change this outfit, as this is pretty hideous, to be honest. Uh, so, right, let's grab. Actually, we have to grab our bag. It's your soft, fluffy bed, and I'm trying to grab a bag. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. Okay. I assume there's something we have to do first. Let's see what we can find downstairs. There's a squover. Muncha! The size of this house. Huge lounge, and then the kitchen over here. I presume this is our mother. Good morning, HJW. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. And the doorbell goes. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. HJW, get the door, would you? Okay. Is that the door there? No, it's just like it here. There we go. Do forgive the intrusion. Uh, you just walked straight into my house, mate. It's quite rude. You are Master HJW, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologise for the late arrival of your enrolment document. Oh, this is, um, Mr. Clavel, Director Clavel. Ah, and also the delay in introducing myself. I am the Director of the Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The Director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. 
So here are the last of the enrolment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. HGW, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag, and your hat as well. Now, Mr Cavell, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? So I assume we have to go get our bag and hat. I wonder when we start progressing. So it sounds like we have to go to school, which I hope is not code for an enormous tutorial, but let's see. Let's grab this now. Uh, yes, let's grab the hat and put on the bag. Not sure I'm a fan of the hat either, to be honest. This is uh, quite bizarre as school uniforms go. <laughs> the white piped shorts. Uh, you can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option from this menu to save all the progress you've made on your adventure so far. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items, including your adventure guide. Check it out when you ever want to review handy tips like these to receive along your adventure. Okay, there's no need for that. I've played these games before. Right, I assume we're ready to go, so let's go grab whomever. It's Mr. Clavel by the sound of it. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. I'll agree to disagree on that one. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I'd entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Master HJW. The most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you meet me outside? Wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Miss the door. It's quite long loading screens for this game, to be honest. I'm surprised by that. It doesn't seem to be perfectly optimised at the minute. First steps outdoors. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. I see. This must be the. This must be where we choose our starter Pokemon. So what do we have here? We've got this cool-looking cat on the left, <laughs> gumpy-looking dinosaur in the middle, and then quite a suave-looking duck on the right-hand side. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Fuecoco, the fire croc Pokemon. That's as a croc rather than a dinosaur. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. <laughs> Flicking its head to the side. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. Ooh, if Coco came first, does that mean he wants to be chosen first? What's this? Hmm. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master HJW, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. It's a massive house. Makes ours look tiny. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me, until we next meet. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Uh, before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take this with you if you're going out on your own. So we obtained the Rotom Phone. It's the latest model of smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it and, can, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. The y for the map. It will help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun. Oh, 
because they're just running off on their own. So if I select him, can I choose him as my starter now? Although I think I actually want this Quaxley. Just like the jazzy hair, so it doesn't look like I can choose him yet, so I think I have to go down the house down there. So Y opens up our map. Your Rotom Phone. The handy Rotom Phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the Map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon and then the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for getting yourself orientated. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map, select a location by pressing the A button, and you can set it as your next destination. The flying taxi service can take you to some places you've visited before. Places that you can fly to are indicated with a feather mark. Try taking flight. Awesome, so it looks like HMs, once again, aren't a requirement in this game. So I could fly back home. I can zoom in and out. It looks like it's telling me that Wingull and this Pokemon here are available in this area. Awesome. Let's have a stroll around, see what's what's available around here. Usually the game likes to hide hide things, particularly close to the start. What's this over here? Ah, oh, there we go, as I was saying it. There is a Pokeball of sorts. Potentially this is the symbol for an item to be found on the floor, or maybe it's just what a Pokeball looks like. Ah, so it's an antidote. There we go, so all items on the ground must look like that with a, a beam coming out the top. Uh, so an antidote is an item for curing poison, so that could come in handy, uh, assuming we face the usual plethora of bug types at the beginning of the game. Uh, we have another item over here. This is worth worth having to explore. Uh, my character is incredibly slow. I wonder if... Oh, so we found a potion. Spray-type medicine for treating wounds. Heals up to 20 HP. I wonder if there's a sprint function. If I press B... The map zooms in and out with up and down. There's another item over there. So LB appears to zoom me right in. RB doesn't do anything. The left trigger, or Z, like is ZL. Let's me look around. ZR doesn't appear to do anything either. So it doesn't appear that there's a sprint function. If I click on my right stick, it just zooms me out. Uh, now, oh, now we have found a Pokeball. A device for catching wild Pokemon. Excellent. So it looks like the star Pokemon are just following me around, not doing much. I wonder if it's possible to get into a Pokemon battle and if they will follow suit. Okay, so. Let's just head down towards that house at this agonisingly slow pace. I'm assuming at some point we might gain the ability to sprint around or... Maybe you have to gain like the running shoes like in a previous game, but this is a slow start if we're going to be like this for a long time. So we are in Cabo Poco. Oh, there we go. Having passed the sign, we've now gained the ability to sprint. Welcome. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. I was hoping these are going to be trainer battles to try the three starters. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together, up to four at a time. So there's a way up there. You need to take these three Pokemon to your neighbour's house down the way. Looks like there's a Pokemon up here. So if I look at it, it tells me what level it is. That's handy. But it doesn't tell me which Pokemon it is. Okay, it's guiding me back towards the path. Let's, let's carry on with where it's trying to take us. We run down here. There's another item over there off to the left. What have we got here? Plus we've got another Pokeball. That's good. Once you found one, it looks like it's a lot quicker to pick it up. You'd have to go through the same explanatory menu every time. Nothing off to the right, so let's just go straight to the neighbour's house. There where we have another cutscene. Enormous house. Oh, the three stars have all ran away. Back to me doing his hair. It's 
Krikatito sniffing the flowers. I can't get over Quacks and the there. That's really the one I go for. It's either that off where Coco, I think. <laughs> Burning an apple. Here. Are you these three's trainer? Not yet. Not quite. Master HGW is yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he would choose as his first Pokemon. Uh, is this the area where I can make my choice? Hopefully that's the case. Buenas. We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master HJW, who will be attending as of today. So you're the kid that moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbour? Wanna be friends? So she lives in this massive mansion. Yeah, why not? Lovely enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Mr. Mona is president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. Absolutely, I absolutely love Pokemon battling, and in fact, we should battle right now, you and me. ranking trainer. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later, and get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbours and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. She's a high ranking trainer. Why is she in school? On that note, Master HJW, have you decided which of these you would like to make your first partner? I have. I will be selecting this one here. I will be selecting Little Ducky Quaxley. That's Quaxley, a water type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. Would you like to go with our good water type Pokemon Quaxley here? Yes, I would. You chose Quaxley. Would I like to give him a nickname? Ooh, that's a good question. Should I give them nicknames? I'm not sure I will, to be honest. I think I'm going to keep them pretty much the same. At least I can't think of a duck-related nickname off, my, off the top of my head. So no, let's, I'm not going to give them nicknames. I'm just going to keep them to their original Pokemon name. still flicking around with his hair. Maybe I should have picked my character to have the same uh, same hairstyle. Quaxley seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master HJW. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care, and of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside of a Pokeball. Ah, interesting. So it looks like this is not going to be... Um, like I think Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee where you had a, a partner trailing you the whole time. HJW, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside HJW while he raises his own partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master HJW here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Ah, and she's going to take the other option that I was considering for a Coco. <coughs> Uh, 
All right then, now we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. And off she dashes. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimone is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling, but I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It'll help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Ah, oh, I feel a little bit sad for Spiritito here, not being chosen. But anyway, yeah, it looks like we have to head down there towards the beach. I'm going to quickly have another scan around, similar to what I did around the house, see if there's anything additional available, which there is. So we have another potion here, so we can heal another 20 HP. Another antidote as well, always comes in handy. And nothing else behind the house. We have an item on top of this hill. And another item here, so the third potion. I wonder how we get up there. So there's the battle, but I'm not quite ready to go there yet. I wonder if there's a way up there from here. There's another item down here on the beach, at least. It's a Pokeball. I can't see a way up here. I see a Pokemon up there of some form. Let's see if we can run round. You managed to scramble back out of the water. Okay, so it looks like I have to find something with surf or some way to traverse the water, which I can't do at the moment. Okay, that makes sense. Stops you going from everywhere right from the beginning, I suppose. So rather than battle again, I'm just going to quickly scan around, see what else we can find. Graphically, the game seems a bit up and down so far. I'm not sure on some of these textures. Textures, they look a bit rough. There's another Pokeball. It's useful. And the loading screen. The loading screens take a little while to progress through. To be honest, the game doesn't seem massively optimized. But hopefully, that improves as we go through. But it's definitely a step up from some of the past Pokemon games. I think definitely. Looks like they're taking the steps in the right direction anyway. And we have another potion again. So we're finding quite a lot of potions here. So this this first battle should be no no trouble at all, especially as we have the type advantage on our opponent. Uh, of course, Fuecoco being the fire type starter. But we have plenty of potions as well if we need them. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer, as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger. So, are you ready to battle me, HJW? Yes, I am. Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Is it... Oh, looks like we're interrupted. Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master HJW is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Mm, that's not really true. Okay. <laughs> Sprigatito came with him. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Okay, so while I'm inexperienced, apparently, I suppose he means my Pokemon is lower level. Come on, HJW, let's have us a fruitful battle. You're challenged by Nimona. <laughs> First chance to give our Quaxley a go, see what he's like. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have fun. Uh, oh, so we got a female Quaxley. I believe, at least in previous games, that was handy because it meant that you could you could breed them. I'm not sure if that matters as much in this game, but we'll see. Uh, got 21 HP as well, which means we won't have quite a high HP uh, EV at least. Normally, your starter has 20. Right, so we know Water Gun as well, which is handy, so we'll obviously go with that. Uh, Health where Coco moved sooner than I, which is surprising, as I was expecting to be the faster of the two. But he used Tackle, so didn't do much damage, whereas ours was super effective. You must have been studying that. Smart move, using Water against Fire. So yeah, Health Coco is definitely faster, so I wonder if we had a nature which makes us slower, which is not ideal. But anyway, two, two shots of Water Gun. Does lots of damage, takes out that way, Coco. And we get enough experience for our first level up too. We're almost halfway to the next. Wow, not bad, neighbour. And we gain 300 pounds or Poké dollars of 
prize money. Look at you, winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Master HAW and his quacks, they are surely weary already from the last battle. Ah, oh, sorry, I got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, HJW. Same to your Quaxley, too. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Alright, thanks, HJW. I think I'm going to abbreviate HJW just H from now on, just to speed it up a little bit. But you two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Mr. Mona? I'm sure you can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer, such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you'll definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a second. Ah, we've gained the Pokedex app. That's awesome. So we now have the Pokedex. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jack, he made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our, compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof! Filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, oh, oh no, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you'll both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Mr. Mona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master H to the Academy? You'll be doing me quite the favour. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. And poor, poor unselected Sprigatito is left on her own. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with my battling. Oh right, speaking of Pokedex, this age, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Opening your Pokedex. Press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone in a flash. You can also navigate to your Pokedex app by pressing the X button from the map. So let's take a look at that. The Pokedex app. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing the X button. Press the plus button when looking at a Pokemon that you've registered in your Pokedex and you can check out that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and when they're active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Okay, this is interesting. So it's it's almost like a magazine shelf. It's handy. Let's back out of that for now. So I don't believe I can see any way up there from here. It must be around the other side once we can get surf. I can't see anything from there either, but we'll give it a quick look. So we head out here. There appears to be... Oh, it's Miss Nimona with... I think that's our mum as well. It is. Oh, HJW, I heard that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend Nimona and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with, and I also packed you lunch on your first day. We got a sandwich. I know what a sandwich is, thank you. Oh, and maybe you better take these too. Or oh, five more potions. Excellent. Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savour them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two better be off, I suppose. Take care on your way to school.
Your mother's so nice, H. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! So I assume this region is based on Spain, judging from the, the, the Buenos and the vamos. And maybe this is what Spanish word of school, but of course, I'm not sure of that. So I can't see any way past that fence to get up there, so assumably the only way up there looks to be with some kind of move that I don't currently have. What other options do we have? So if I press the bag, the auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. And use these items in this order. Okay, that's handy. That speeds things up, I suppose. So we have our bag with potions and antidotes. We've got a couple of Pokeballs. And we have a Rotom phone and a sandwich, along with our adventure guide. Boxes. Ah, okay, so it looks like you can access your storage system directly from the menu here. That's handy. Uh, nothing I need to change in the options. I don't need to save. So Y opens the map. Uh, and there's a lot of Pokemon here I'm yet to find that are available. B activates some kind of sneak feature. Minus opens up the Pokedex. If I press up on my D-pad, oh, handy set opens up some kind of emotes. <laughs> Poses, there we go. Now we look like an NPC. Anyway, if I press right, that doesn't seem to do anything, nor does down. I know, otherwise come out the emote. So right opens up our notices. Down starts up a camera. You can start up the camera app by pressing the down button. Move the camera about freely to snapshots of all kind of places and Pokemon you see. When you have the camera app open, press the Y button to flip the camera around and take photos of yourself. Press it again to return the camera to normal. When you want to take fancy or funny photos, press the left and right button to change filters. It's not something I'm wholly interested in. Uh, and left on the D-pad opens up... Ah, okay, here we go. This is what I was saying about earlier, I wanted to change my character's kind of clothing style. So that's um, quite handy. So we've got the spring uniform, which is the piped trousers again with the shirt. Summer has the shorts. Autumn has slightly longer shorts and a gilet. And winter has a jacket over the top. I think I like that with the jacket, to be honest. Socks, high socks, or grey socks. Go with the grey. And our school shoes, which are these black ones. And our performance sneakers, so the white ones. Go with the black ones. We have school gloves. Uh, I'd rather not, but it looks like we now can't take those off. Oh, went back a few too many times. Let's go back to that. Uh, what are we on? Winter uniform. Grey socks. Didn't change shoes. Don't have gloves. Backpack. So we have this, our school backpack, and we do have a beige canvas backpack. With that one, that's quite nice. Uh, so, you have this hideous hat we have on, we have a sporty cap or a school helmet, which is like a bike helmet. I think we'll go with the sporty cap. We're horn rim glasses, which I'm not going to select, and we can also change the design of our Rotom phone, which is interesting. Yes, let's go with that outfit. There we go. Still not a fan of the trousers, but hopefully we can buy some replacements. So it looks like we have to come up here, up the Poco Path. But I can already see a few items left for us to pick up. All right, this here is Poco Path. Oh, there's quite a few new Pokemon here. You've got these little pigs. I can see a few Fletchlings flying. I think I just saw like a little kind of bear off to the right, which I think was the one in the opening 
opening credits, and then these little spiders as well. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you've got Quaxley for that, alright? But if you want to try and catch a Pokemon, you've got to use... Good old Pokeball. And I've got tons, so have a few. Ah, five more Pokeballs, that's handy. And here comes one of the little piggy Pokemon. Ooh, what luck! Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk, H. Ah, that's what it's called, it's a Lechonk. So, here we go. You can try to catch a wild Pokemon you're battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage to it before throwing another Pokeball. This should give you a better chance of success. So I like that the battle seems to happen in real, well, like real space, if you, if you understand my drift. It happens exactly where the encounter occurred, which is uh, quite cool. So we're going to go straight to the Pokeball here, which would be encouraged to catch this little chunk. And there we go, that was easy. And we get 20 XP for our Quaxley as well. So I am going to be trying to capture everything I can possibly find. Obviously there will be some I miss, I'm sure, on routes. So if you if there is something I miss on route, feel free to let me know and I'll come back and try and capture it for you. Uh, so this is Lechonk, the hog Pokemon. It searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Awesome. Here we have the animation for Lechonk being added to our Pokedex. Allah, that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually capturing Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Another 10 Pokeballs, that's good. We've got 18 of them now. Makes sense, I don't think we've seen a Pokemon Mart yet to buy more. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass, caves, and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are in trees or flying up in the sky. Yeah, so ZR throws out our quacks. That's cool. Ooh, there's a Hoppip there. That's something I definitely want to catch, as I'm quite interested in potentially adding a Hoppip to our team. So let's go. Got it with the, with the Pokeball. So it looks like you can aim with the, the look around button, the, um, let's call it the, the left trigger. Z and then you can throw your Pokeball with the right one in order to engage it. So awesome, we're going to use Pound on this twice, and we're going to, assuming it would survive. But actually we took it out in two hits. Uh, but that gets our Quaxley up to level 7 anyway, so it's not all doom and gloom. I'm assuming there's other Hoppips around the place. So what's this here? This is something we're yet to encounter. Level 4. This looks like one of the new Pokemon for the region. This is a Tarantula. Meant to use Water Gun. Work up. Not the end of the world again. So our attack has risen. And our special attack too. Which reminds me I need to check whether Quaxley is a physical or special based attacker before I work out where to focus her moves. Since we've bought it in here, so we do go in the orange, unless there are Pokeball. Hey, and there's the second addition to our current party, Taruntala. And some additional XP for the, for the trouble. And we also gained something off of the side there, it only flashed up for a second, something called the Taruntula Thread. Not sure what that is. 
So Tarantula is the string ball of Pokemon. The ball of threads wrapped around its body is elastic enough to, def to deflect the scythes of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. And no, I'm not going to give him a nickname. And there he is in our Pokedex. I'll hop in just rubbing it in a little bit by being there uncaught. Another potion, and we've got Tarantulas and Lechonks. I assume there's a Tarantula up in the tree as well. It is. Lechonks everywhere. Oh, and another. Little Poppets. So I think I'm going to use Water Gun this time. Should not very effective, it should do less damage. If I use a pound, that should take it down to around yellow HP, I think, and make it easier damage. To hop it, I'm actually considering adding to my team here, at least for the beginning stages, as uh, I believe it's grass and flying type. So there's the two types that cover off quite well. Obviously we've got the water type starter, so having a grass type will definitely come in handy. It is indeed grass and flying type, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding this to my team. So, Hoppip, the cottonweed Pokemon. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It is unclear where the Hoppip Hop of Paldea originally came from. Interesting. And of course add it to the Pokedex. I'm sure that animation is going to get a little bit annoying after a while. Uh, let's quickly check our Quaxley, see whether he's a physical or special based attacker. I'm not sure myself. Uh, so it looks like we didn't get the best nature in the world. So it looks like he is a physical based attacker, but the nature we have is giving him special based attack and lower speed. So that's not ideal. Oh well, it's, it's not the end of the world. We'll move. Let's pick up a few of these items, another potion. Get up here, we can. There's another Pokeball there. And there's something behind this tree as well. A Super Potion. That's super handy. So that restores uh, 60 HP compared to the 20 HP you get from a uh, regular potion. I just spotted some Fletchling here. Let's engage this one. Love this one. Awesome. Let's see how much damage we can do with the water gun here. That's the path. That's a strong so We need to try and learn some kind of physical based uh, water moves. I'm not sure what there are. Most are special based. I suppose having a special based nature actually could be quite useful as it could make us more flexible between using both physical and special based moves. And it'll definitely be advantage, an advantage at the beginning where we only know water gun. So that's Fletchling in the bag as well. It's a normal and flying type. The Tiny Robin Pokemon. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. And that's him registered. So I'm just going to try something like I'm going to press Y and just look at our map. So, similar to what we looked at when we were at the house, the map appears to suggest you can find Lechonk, Diglett, and whatever this Pokemon here is. So, there must be more available here that I'm yet to find. Ooh, a revive. That's excellent. So if our Pokemon gets knocked out, we can uh, recover it using the revive. Uh, there's something here. Looks like there's a Lechonk inside the bush. Glint is it's related to the battle I'm going to or if it's actually in the outside map. And we're going to use water gun twice and it should be here. Yeah, it didn't. The chomp uses a tail whip. This next water gun should take out the chomp and the level 4 gets a nice chunk of experience. There we go, both Hopip and Quaxley leveled up, and Hopip learned tail whip. Ah, so looks like when we like, press A afterwards, or is that because of the battle with the shining object? Anyway, I gained a cherry berry which can heal paralysis, which is useful. Another item over here, antidote. 
I've seen a chunk of pop up so far. What's this over here? Whoa, dropping a lot of frames here. Again, this game's optimization doesn't appear great. That looks like a scatterbug. It is indeed. There's lots of new Pokemon available in this room, mainly by the types as there tends to be at the start of a game. But, uh, yeah, we're going to capture it nonetheless. There we go, the Scatterbug also captured. So I believe the... that wasn't on the map when I looked earlier, but it did say both Diglett and uh, whatever that other new Pokemon was. Scatterbug, the Scatterdust Pokemon. Any poison that this Pokemon takes in is converted into black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. Interesting. This Pokedex animation is already grinding on me a little bit, as it does take a while. Anyway. Pop it there was sleeping. Another potion sat in the grass here, along with Scatterbug. Some more hobbit. We're gonna head down this way, there's an item off to the left. Another revive, that's really handy getting those so early on. Normally you have to spend quite a lot to get those. Oh, so there we go, there's the glint on the ground. An Aspear berry. So it looks like the glints on the ground are berries you can find. Uh, and then there's also a paralyzed heal. Ooh. That. It is. So that's the other Pokemon that appeared on the map, the one that in the uh, opening credits looked like a Pikachu. It's called Pormi. Interesting, I wonder if it's also an electric type. Let's hope not, because it's quite low on it. It's a huge water gun. Use Growl, which doesn't go a huge amount away. Let's capture it, not risk it. Um, not risk it, if it is an electric type, I don't want to risk it. Knocking out Quaxley and. If it doesn't let you move, knocking them out, and then we lose you know, a lot of effort values, for example, from our Quaxley. So let's just get that in the bag and get moving. So we have another level up for Fletchling, which learns Quick Attack, and also one for Hopper. And that's Pormi. Uh, Pormi was electric type. Okay. So it's the mouse Pokemon. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Pormi rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. So, it sounds quite a lot like Pikachu, to be honest. Uh, I'm actually going to put it in my party as it's electric type. There's no point having all these bug Pokemon in here I'm never going to use, so let's... Uh, let's stick it in the box. You can keep six Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon will be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. From the main menu, you can select your boxes to open them up. Yeah, that's what we discovered earlier. Okay, that's good. So, I think the game menu also suggested a Diglett was available here, but I haven't seen it as of yet. A third revive. Wow, this game has been very generous with its items so far. So, it looks like there's an abundance of wild Pokemon around. I think nothing unique anymore. Oh, I'm going to run into, run into the Scatterbug. Why not grab ourselves some more experience? Sorry if you can hear a little bit of background noise as well, I do have an exception to the chair. So the only thing I'm annoyed about with my quacks like, is its lack of speed. I was hoping it would be quite fast. Particularly after a string shot as well. So, down to 10 HP, maybe a bit like using a potion here. He's halfway through level 8, so he's coming along well. Oh, yes, we've got a few items kicking round. This isn't, particularly for the opening route, another potion. This is a really... What's that up there? Is it, as I say, I keep losing my trail of thought. It's a really large route with a lot available, I'm quite surprised. So there's something up there. I can't get to. So another potion down here. And an ether. Wow, very useful. So it restores... An ether restores 10 PP, or power points, to your moves. So every time you use a move, it wastes up one of your power points, and once they all run out, you can no longer use that move, and Ether can restore ten of those. Let's head down here, we get another cutscene. Hey, HJW, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see. So far you've caught... 
There's a lot of mysterious cry. Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that kind of cry before. It could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Ish. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Cliffs, anyway. So I did see this item before she dragged me away. There's another ether. Very handy. Um, I think she wanted us to go this way, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, can't move at the second. This guard's cutting. We're heading over to the edge of this cliff. We see a beach and a palm tree. Uh, two hound door and looks like a fainted Pokemon. It looks like I think it's the Pokemon from the cutscene at the beginning of the game. Actually, I believe we saw. I think we saw it kind of. It looked like it crash landed anyway into some water. So this must have been what happened there. So it landed down here. In this little, uh, little alcove area. So I wonder how we get down there. Off we. Whoa. We just jumped off a cliff. Holy moly. So it scared off the two hound doors, and my guy's immediate reaction is to jump off a cliff and go and say hi. But let's see. So this. Yeah, this definitely appears to be the Pokemon. I'm not sure of its name, but on the uh, box artwork of the game. So this must be the game's legendary Pokemon. Grrr. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe give it something to help perk it up. Let's give it a sandwich. Oh, it was the right thing to do. I thought we would have to give him a revive or something, but no, the sandwich is the right thing to give it. <laughs> the one sandwich, you want our cool hat? Ooh, just took our hand off with it then. Happily eats my sandwich. You owe me a sandwich, sir. You owe me a new sandwich. You better not attack us after all that. It's quite an interesting design of Pokemon, this one here. It's got... I mean, it looks pretty standard as far as Pokemon go, but it appears to have almost like a big wheel on its chest. So the big cave behind where the Hound Door went. I wonder if that's the not-so-safe cave that Nimona mentioned. Looks like that's the way we're going, either way, as I don't see a way out of here otherwise. And it appears to be wanting us to follow. It's another wish these cutscenes would hurry up somewhat. What's yes. happening? Is it evolving? Or is it just change, kind of changing form? Looks like it's kind of changing form more than anything. Strengthening up a little bit. It definitely has a big wheel on its chest. It's kind of fluffed its feathers out like a peacock. <laughs> right, so it seems to want us to follow it anyway into this cave, so we'll, we'll happily oblige and see what it's got to say. Oh, some lovely fuzzy graphics there as it entered the cave. Check out the beach, see if there's anything to be discovered. And there he is waiting for us. So as I can see, there's nothing to get here, so let's just shoot straight after him into this cave. Right, so we can't go ahead of him, as soon as we do, it just slows us right down. So we'll just stay behind him for now. The cave appears to have some kind of gemstone or ore within it. Looks almost like emeralds. Oi! H! Oh, it's a long way up. There you are, HJW. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness. I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry... No, never mind that. 
Right, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Okay, let's continue following them. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. It kind of seems like it's waiting for you. So there's some Houndor there. So I'm going to catch some Houndor there. That'd be handy. You'd have an early fire type. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. So we got the Houndoom up there. Let's go with this one first, whatever this is. Level 2, so it's not going to be particularly tough. Another one of the new Pokemon, it's a Young Goose. And there we go. Quaxley is running a little low on HP here. So let's throw a Pokeball, get this in the bag. And there we go, Young Goose was caught. Only a tiny amount of XP. Sadly, it's only level 2, but we still do get a level up for tar a tar Tarantula. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. Its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Uh, I'll just check that out the box. Kind of looks like a, an angry kind of uh, furret. Smaller. Let's grab this item here. There's another Pokeball. What's that? Holy moly, so that's a Houndoom. We th oh no, I was wondering what would happen whether it would let us engage, but no. I, mean, I don't know why I would want to, as I would quite obviously lose. There's another young goose. Potion on the floor. Oh, and there's Diglett. So that explains why the map was telling us Diglett was available. And it's available in the cave just underneath uh, the Pogo Path. I'm going to be careful here, but don't lose too much HP, so that's a scrap, because that only does two, so we can afford to take another one or two of those hits, but I don't think we'll need to. I think the Pokeball would likely do the job. We probably want to avoid wild battles from here on out whilst our Quacks is on such low HP. So that's Diglett Court 2. And we got Quaxley up to level 9, which is great. Diglett's data has been added to the Pokedex. It lives one yard underground, where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. I'm not going to give it a nickname, but I am going to add it to my team. As again, it's just another different type. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... I was going to say Fletchling, as it's... A type I've already got covered with Hopper, even though it's my highest level other than my starter. But yeah, I'll put Diglett in my party. And that's him registered too. So what else have we got around here? There's still these emeralds kind of in the ground. There's an item up there, but first I'm going to quickly look down this path here, see if there's anything. Yeah, there is. There we go. Another item available. Let's see if we're hitting some kind of invisible wall on our way in. Uh, two more Pokeballs. The variation of early items isn't massive, to be honest. It's usually just potions and Pokeballs. That's why I was quite surprised, actually, when we found... Um, when we found the revive in the ethers, as normally you don't find those early in the game. But the rest of the items seem to be abundant, but always the same items. So there's a load of hound doors here. Hopefully we can catch one before the end. But they got scared off by uh, by this legendary Pokemon. Got another item here. Hey, heads up! Some pretty rough. Okay, read it in time. I'm glad you've got your bodyguard, but watch out. Let's keep following him in which case. I'm surprised my guy's not. I can't tell if this is like gemstone like I thought it was, like emeralds, or if it's actually some kind of like moss. I think it's actually meant to be like bioluminescent plants. Oh my gosh, it straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful is it? I wonder what move that was. HJW, look out! Something's coming! As long as it's not that Hound Doom that we saw earlier, then I'm fine. Behind you! It's behind you! Oh wow, it is the Hound Doom. Okay, excellent. Is it level 40 again as well? Doom! Oh, I should have killed my Quaxley. 
Oh, it is level 40. How... How am I going to beat a level 40? I'm Doom. I didn't even get to choose my move. I'm Doom used Crunch. So I assume this is set to happen in which case. I assume this has to happen. As... There's not anything else I could have done. I think I'm just following the storyline. So that's Quaxley defeated. Now it looks like... Ah, oh, okay. So the legendary Pokemon is going to step in and save us. Minute, but then there's a swarm of Houndor coming. I'm very much outnumbered now. Ooh, it's going to attack, but it seems to have reconsidered. Hey! Up here, quick! Grabs us. Ah, there we go. Jumps us out the caves. We ran. We ran away, basically. Not sure. I like being manhandled like this. My guy's just hanging there like a, like a limp fish. Way to go! For a second, I thought you were both goners. Towards the lighthouse. Oh. Seems to have shifted back into its other form. Whoa, what's wrong? Its other form being constantly knocked out. Maybe it used up all its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclizer, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. Do you think it's okay? I do not know. It needs another sandwich. You can't tell either, huh, H? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella looked perfectly in sync facing down that hound doom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it's perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man! The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you've got to let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. This is the time. It's got a black rotom case, that's cool. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. And we get our first technical machine. So we get a TM for Swift. So that's an attack which is like a medium based special normal type move that can never miss. Which can come in handy. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. So that's where the cave came out. This should... Ah, so there we go. So that's how we got down to the cliffs in the first place. It comes out basically where we left off. And let's just head straight up to the lighthouse, because there's not where else we can go. So let's head straight up here. Well, I was going to run around behind the lighthouse and see if there's any additional items, but it looks like we've been... Okay, from behind rather than from the right, but okay. Why, that little... What are you doing out here? Oh, he's talking to the Pokemon, I thought he was talking to me. This must be his Pokemon then. Maybe it's not a legendary. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arven? You're enrolled in the Humanities track, right? Aren't you that s aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Seder? Hey, he's got the trousers on, must be. Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what is with this form it's in. I met it at the bottom of the cliff. See, we heard this strange cry, and we tried to investigate, but HJW fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterwards. You should have seen it before. It looked totally different, unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. 
The form Coridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Ah, so this must be its name, Coridon. Coridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How do you know it? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around. But given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? <laughs> well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. So it looks like this is ending in the standard battle at the end of a long cutscene. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast the doldrums away. Human, you might use the third starter to be another one of our rivals. Oh no, maybe not. He's going to use a square deck. At least as his first Pokemon. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. So we can hit straight for a water gun. Oh, looks like we've been healed as well, which is handy. We were low on HP. But we still have 5 HP, so we would have won this fight to guard. And that's swerve it down with two water guns. Quite enjoying quite to be so far, seems to have good strength. Hop up learned absorb, which is huge, so we now have a grass type move in our team. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. We take $300 off him again as well. Long black screen. Wow, HJW, that was awesome! I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using a Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that brute's been kept in. So wait, we obtained its Pokeball. Does that mean we... Maybe have... Is that the game over? We have the, we have the legendary Pokemon right at the beginning? So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi, can you not hear me or something? Okay, he's a shady character, evidently. Fine, be that way. But you better actually show up to school. What a weirdo. So are we now... Is he now in our party? How does this work? That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm going to ring him. But, oh, right, we've got to climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Okay, so she's gone up to the lighthouse. So let's just... It's not on our team, at least. Yeah, we've got all these new items... UTM... Yeah, so we gain all of these kind of... It can be material accidentally dropped by a Pokemon. It can be used to make TMs. Wow, that's awesome. So there must be a function to make TMs. That's useful. I wonder if it's only certain ones or if you can make any TM you want. That would be huge if so. In key items, we have Coridon's Pokeball. Let's use it. Okay, so we can't add him to our team. Okay, it's just something we have to hold as our key item. Okay. Although I thought that was a little too easy. So let's just quickly check around behind the lighthouse, dodge the scatterbug, and inevitably there's an item hidden behind it. Got another revive. It's useful. Oh. Swarm fletchlings and hoppips spawned outside since we ran past. So let's just shoot it straight up to the lighthouse. Go and meet Nimona. South Province, Area 1. Oof, it's not a bad view that. So you can see where we had the battle earlier on. Nomona's massive house. You can almost see our house over in the distance. Hopefully all of this land around here is explorable. 
I mean, the graphics aren't exactly outstanding. It's pretty um, barren, to be honest, when you compare it to a game like Breath of the Wild, which came out years before this. You know, on the same console. So you would hope the graphics were a little better, but you never know. Oh, that, that was a wing girl. Oh, can I catch it? No, not in time. <laughs> Do I get my Pokeball back, or have I just thrown my starter Pokemon to the depths? Okay, good, I've still got him. But that wing girl threw away. Is there another way to get one? Not that I can see. So let's talk to Nimona. Look, HJW, that's Metagoza. That's the massive city we saw in the cutscene at the beginning. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, HJW. I'm looking forward to it. As long as you stop dragging me through overly long cutscenes. Right, I can't wait to get back. We're going to get to learn so much and battle so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to the school from here. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos! Come on! Head to Los Platos is our next plan. If you insist. Though, I think for now, that'll probably do us for today. It's, it's been. Almost an hour and a half. Guy do the stance. There we go. With that, I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, this is something new and something different, and I'll be looking to follow this game through uh, all the way to conclusion if possible, whether that's conclusion of the storyline or also all the way on to uh, capturing all of the Pokedex yet to be seen. But I'll definitely be carrying this on all the way through at least the storyline. Anyway, if you've enjoyed, please drop a like and please consider subscribing so you get notified when these videos get uploaded in the future. Uh, and with that, I've been HJW Gaming and I really hope to see you on the next one.